Yes, please. Yes. Hey, sorry, Funk. Hey, sorry, guys. I, I did not. I did not mean to uh, end the stream like that. Sorry, my wife was hovering, and that, that's actually like, yeah, I know, I'm sorry. Uh, my wife was hovering, and it, it's, I can play this game, of course, oh, of course, Foxy. Foxy's starting her shit early, why? Because she's a cunt. No, I can play this game as long as, like, there's no one behind me. If there's someone behind me, it just freaks me the hell out, and my wife was behind me. My wife also likes to jump up behind me when I have my headphones on because I can't hear and it makes me want to slaughter her but I don't because it's illegal in most states so yeah there's that awesome I get to check Foxy for free you know I don't know you know I, I, I've just always assumed Foxy is, is a girl just because, like, its name is Foxy, and I know, yeah, it's supposed to be a pirate and all, but, like, alright, what self-respecting male pirate would have a name as Foxy? That, that's, I mean, that's only my look. I, I don't know. Some places say it's a girl, some places say it's a guy. You know, I have nev never gotten that. Alright, if you're an animatronic puppet... And you play that stupid ass song all day long. Why the hell would you play Music Box at night? It's like, hmm, I haven't heard this crappy song enough all day for 20 fucking years. I'm gonna play this Music Box. Why not? Anyway, so how are you guys doing tonight? Or today? Sorry. Which Fox is gonna charge my door. Oh wow, Fox is like stage one still. Okay, uh, it's nice to see you, Dobby and Snape. Have a good one, man. You know, sometimes it's weird with that, with Bonnie. Sometimes you hear that shuffling footsteps, and Bonnie, like, won't be there. Other times you'll hear it and Bonnie's there. It's just irritating. So I guess it's just random, but I mean, I don't know. Whenever you hear that, Bonnie's typically around. Or maybe they're just running around close by. I don't know. Fucking see, Bonnie, you're a piece of shit. You know that? At least they're not door camping too bad tonight. If I can keep, if I can keep Foxy from charging my door more than one time, and if I get lucky on my door charge, you know, it takes a percent or two, I may still yet be in the running for this one, guys. But here's what's gonna happen, it happens to me every damn time. Fucking Bonnie. Here's what's gonna happen, I promise you. We're gonna get to like 4 a.m., maybe even, oh, I might have just died right there. We'll see. Freddy could be in the room with us. He's close. Oh, come on, Bonnie. Move. Quit door camping. God, I hate that. Such a piece of crap. Anyway, so how are you guys doing today? phone guy, and I don't know who else is here. There's supposed to be someone else here. But how are you guys doing today? Or this evening, depending on where you're at. Don't 
Don't start your hallucination shit, please. Ah, shit! Well, it was good while we had it. Unfortunately, I didn't get my door quick enough and Ducky got us. <sighs> so irritating. Well, you guys, we can. I can just end it early and commit suicide, or if you guys want, I can see how long it goes each time, but this is kind of boring for you guys. So, it's whatever you want to do. That's a little bit better. We're going to see how long we can go at 27% at 3 a.m. If I were at 4 a.m., I'd say we'd have a chance at getting to 5 a.m. just camping out here. But, I don't know. It's night six. It's pretty ridiculous. Bonnie's, I mean, Foxy's surely going to charge the door. Yeah, there's 10% right there. So... You know, it's all, I swear to God, that's so strange. For some reason, Foxy, like at the later hours of the night, if she charges your door, say like 3 to 5, she'll take like 10% of your power. But if she charges your door like 12 to 3, 12, you know, 12, 1, 2, those hours, she only takes like a percent or two, or at least that's what I have noticed. I don't know. Either way, it's 4 a.m. I haven't even gotten to 5. I mean, they're right there. I can put this door open. We'll see how lucky we get with uh, Foxy. My guess is not damn lucky enough. Because I'm at 4%. It's 4 a.m. There's no way. Uh, even with low power drain, we're going to... We would need at least 10% with no power drain to make it. And Foxy's going to pop out here. Anyway. There you go. Uh, damn it, I was doing good on that one until Ducky screwed me.
Roxy. Hey, I did good though. She didn't have a big hit. Uh, Yekis is awesome. Uh, hey, welcome to the stream. I hope you enjoy it. I hope it's entertaining for you. And anyways, welcome. And yeah, I know I'm really trying to concentrate because I keep screwing up my pattern here. Mm -hmm. Damn it, Foxy, you cunt. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Uh, yeah, anyways. See, like, I'm horrible power management. Yeah, yeah, I'm not doing that good because I'm at 45 percent at at 2 a.m. I'm I'm not guaranteed to die, but I need to Foxy to not charge me at all for the rest of the night, and that's just not gonna happen because it's Foxy and she's a bitch. Nobody likes Foxy. Well, here's the thing with Freddy is whenever he laughs, uh, whenever he laughs, he's moving around, and he does change as far as how fa or how uh, loud he's laughing, but that's not really the greatest of gauges. But since you always have to kind of you know look around to see where he is, it's not worth it because in the time that you're checking the camera or doing something else, he can jump. He can, he can jump into the room with you. So I found it's actually better power management just to shut that right door, check your cam really fast, and then pop the door back open again. But that, that see, and I like it actually when Ducky's there because I kind of feel like I'm checking the camera for free. But I'm at 24%. It's 3 a.m. I'm pretty much boned. I mean, I've, I've played long enough that there's almost no way. Because what's going to happen is this. I'm going to, you know... They're either going to door camp or Foxy's going to charge my door. Like, in a perfect world, 20% is doable at 4 a.m., Yep, see, here comes the door charge. It's going to be a big hit because it's late in the night. 6%, that's huge. Uh, six, ten, I'm down to 10% at 4 a.m. I think the best thing I can do... Well, thank you, Yucky is all, yeah, Yucks is awesome. Uh, I'm going to try and play dead. If I get lucky, Foxy won't charge me the rest of the night. If I don't, he, she will. That's that. But I'm going to play dead. We'll see how long I last. Honestly, there's a... I don't know. I honestly don't know if I have enough power. 5% with no power drain. I'm thinking no. It's not going to happen. If I were at 5 a.m., it'd be a possibility. You can get... You can get to 5 a.m. with 10%. If you get lucky with Foxy doing this. But I think Foxy's going to pop out on the left before I run out of power. We'll have to see. Because each hour is 90 seconds long, you know, in real life. So, yeah, there's no way I'm making it. Just turned five. I'm screwed. Although Foxy's being nice for the last two hours of the night. That's new. Hold on. That's bullshit. Okay. We'll try this again, guys. Alright. Damn. I got... I did decent. I did decent. I didn't do well. I did decent. <laughs> good game. You know, it was okay. That, that wasn't a good game. That was an okay game. I, I 
didn't manage my, I didn't manage my power well. That's essentially what happened. But there's the thing is, if you're heavy on your power management, then one of them pops open and you all pops up at your door, your button shut off, and then you're SOL. Okay. Bullshit, Foxy. Bonnie, move, move, move. Bonnie, quit door camping. Thank you. Thank you. Finally. Knock off your bullshit door. And here comes Foxy Charge. 73 to 71. Not bad. Just a 1% drop. I'll try to get you a shout out and I'm back. Okay. Well, that. thank you, Yux. I appreciate that. Anyways, uh, just so you you're know, know who I'm talking about when I talk about different characters, uh, Bonnie is the bastard bunny that likes to pop up. Uh, Chica is actually the real name of the duck that you see. Uh, I always call her Ducky, though, just because it's a lot easier to remember and everyone always knows what I'm talking about. And then there's Freddy. Freddy's the bear. I'm an awesome live streamer. Well, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. I, I hope I, I hope I am entertaining. That's a big part of why I do this. I also like interacting with people while I get the living crap scared out of me. Although, luckily, oh, see right there. Oh, I'm, I'm done. I'm. Oh. Oh, I got both of them now. I have Ducky and I have Ducky and Bonnie. Just, just they're applying the lube. They're getting ready now. So, there's no way. Well, I'm going to get a Foxy charge. There's no way I'm not. So, I'm just going to commit suicide. We'll find out. I bet you it's Bonnie. I think Bonnie's going to come in. But if you listen, you can hear him. Yeah, you, you hear that? He's going to pop out here in a second. I think it'll be Bonnie. Oh, Freddy's in here too. Boy, this is gonna be a gang bang. Ugh, it was Ducky that got me. Yeah, right now they're they're doing things to my body. Horrible, horrible things. All right. We'll try it again. All right.
Anyways, Yax, do you know the, uh, the, the subplot to, uh, Five Nights at Freddy's? <laughs> no, no, no. I am not that good. There are some people that play this game that are awesome at it. I am okay. Alright, uh, so, Freddy Fosbears or whatever, uh, started, I think, believe in the early or mid-80s, no, late 80s, anyways, well, there's five children, if you look around Freddy Fosbears throughout the nights that you play, and sometimes they'll change from hour to hour, there's, uh, newspaper clippings that show up in the different rooms, well, if you take screenshots of those and zoom in on them, uh, you can read them, and the first one states about, uh, like, that missing children. There was, you know, ended up being five missing children throughout, you know, the years that Freddy Fosbear's was open, where just five children just disappeared. Well, turns out, in, you know, next couple of newspaper clippings, you, oh, you bastards, quit door camping. I'll check Foxy for free. Come on, a thank you, Chica. A Bonnie, of course, is being a prick right now because that's what Bonnie does. Come on, move out of my door. You are screwing me, Bonnie. God damn it. One second, let me get Bonnie the hell away. Finally. Okay. So, well, it turns out that, uh, oh shit, I think I might have just screwed myself. We'll have to find out. Um, it turns out that one of the night guards was dressing up in a Freddy Fosbear costume and abducting, I, Bonnie is a bitch, abducting the children. Anyways, well, then, you know, he gets, he gets arrested for kidnapping, but they never find the five missing children. Well, the next newspaper clipping uh, is a thing about, you know, the health concerns at Freddy Fosbear's Pizzeria. And these people are saying that the animatronic puppets are smelling bad. So, what it's alluding to is the fact that the night guard, dressed up in a Freddy Fosbear costume, kidnapped the kids and then uh, stuffed them in the animatronic suits. So, the animatronic suits are supposed to be haunted by the souls of the lost children. And, of course, here comes Bonnie. I mean, Foxy. Anyways, so that's the subplot. And, of course, you know, the souls of the children inside the animatronic suits are trying to get vengeance on the night guard. That happens to be you, because... Why not? Actually, as much as I don't like Bonnie, like, Bonnie can be frustrating sometimes because she door camps the most, I feel, out of everyone. But the one who's the worst is Freddy. Oh my god, he fucking sucks. That was cool. I've never seen that before. Anyways, what Freddy likes to do, like all the other characters, when they're in the room, your lights stop working and your doors stop working. So you kind of know, like, when they're going to jump out. Uh, Foxy, she has kind of a known pattern where, you know, if you don't look on her every so often. Oh, man, really? 7% power? just face palm yourself. Fuck! Anyways, the other characters, like, you kind of know, you know, basically, like, if you screw up, that they're, they're gonna get you. Except for Freddy. Like, with Freddy, if I don't close that door, and he's close by, 
and I check my camera with the door open, he'll jump in here, but he won't just like pop up, you know, instantly. Well, he'll like wait a little while, and he's the only one that jumps out at you. Well, Foxy does, but uh, him and Foxy are the only ones that jump out at you when you don't have your cameras up. So they're just randomly, like you're looking at the room like you are now, and all of a sudden you're getting raped by Freddy. be a little bit better on my power management, so I'm going to change up what I do here a little bit. Because it's 4 a.m., I got 17%. I can barely make it if I'm good. But if Foxy gets me... If Foxy charges my door one more time, I'm done for. And so I really need Bonnie to fucking leave so I can close my door. Anyways, Freddy will just, like, he'll get in your room. <laughs> you got this for Sparta. I don't think so. I think I was letting Sparta down on this one. 8% at 4 a.m. I'm kind of doubting it's a thing. Plus, I'm getting sloppy. Five percent, four a.m. And I got up. Oh, Bonnie's in here, so doesn't matter anyways. Bonnie's like, are right, you see that right there? That means Bonnie's in here. You know, the, the door won't work. So, but I know Bonnie will only pop up if I put my camera in front of my face. When I lower my camera, then she'll jump out and get me. Or if I just look at my camera forever. Uh, the thing that sucks about Freddy is he'll wait. Like, you'll have messed up your pattern and left that door open when you checked your camera. And you won't know. Let's see. I don't know. Anyways. Anyways, so you won't know that uh, you've messed up. You just might forget it. And he'll wait like 10, 30, 40 seconds. And then he'll jump out at you. And he actually does scare me. Still a little bit. If I get that type of scare. I got the long chime. Oh no, no, I didn't get the long chime. Comes Freddy. Come on, Freddy. Why why do you gotta do this? Just just drain you know, drag it out for as long as possible. That's messed up. There we go. Anyways, Yucks, uh, who do you, who, what do you, games do you stream? What do you like to play? Okay. Night six. Here we go. Anyways, thank you for the uh, follow, Yucks. I appreciate it. I hope you're enjoying yourself. And Phone Guy, if you're still in here, I don't know if you are or aren't. I appreciate the follow also. That was awesome. Dark Souls 2 and Resident Evil 4. You know, those are, those are scary games. But uh, honestly, the scariest game I've ever played, and I feel it is way scarier than this, is... The very first Resident Evil, not Resident Evil, uh, Silent Hill for PlayStation 1. God, that game was so scary. Like, it is the only game I've never been able to play in the dark. It's just I can't do it. Like, and it's not like, it's, and there's, you know, there's a storyline to it, and there's definitely scripted scares. Like, there's this big cat that falls out of a locker, and, you know, there's a, you jump around, and you see a, Supposedly, a, your daughter in the chair. But it's not those that get you after. I mean, you can play it again and again. What gets you is, like, the worst part for me was the school. Oh, my God. The school would kill me. Because there'd be these little, like... Fuck, I might, I might be getting fucked by Freddy here shortly. Uh, the worst part was the school. 
because you'd have these weird little like child imp things that would run around. They didn't have like eyes. They didn't have eyes. They had mouths, they had noses, or what looked kind of like noses, but they had no eyes. And they'd get these little like shanks and stab the shit out of you. Well, they'd be... Awesome, check. Come on, guys, quit door camping. Guys, you are fucking me here. Quit fucking me. God damn. Finally. Anyways, you like turn a corner and there would be one right there. And it just scared the living shit out of you. And the mood it set was just awesome. Like it had that real gothic, like in between creepy and scary, I guess. It was just, it was far more psychological than most games. The Resident Evils is like, okay, standard suit em up zombie, like, I don't know, zombies just don't do it for me. I just got so tired of zombies, like... Although I do think it was really cool how they incorporated the Umbrella Corporation, where it was a, a virus that would go around, and that was awesome part of it, because I've always had this insane, intense interest in, uh, like, biological weapons and, and horrible viruses and diseases. So I actually really that part that part to the Resident Evil series really did appeal to me a lot. Uh, I do have a 360. I I just built uh, actually my. A while ago, I'd say about a month ago now, um, I was gonna, I, you know, I kind of had to choose. I can get like a next gen console, or I could build a, a new gaming PC. And my wife, you know, we're, we're, we're not really ton of money, but we should, we're, we need to pay off a lot of debt. So I didn't want to get all, you know, I didn't want to get a bunch of gaming consoles and everything else. So I just built my uh, gaming PC. Ever since I built that, the games are so, so stinking cheap now that, uh, it's so much cheaper to play my PC because with Humble Bundle, especially, oh man, I've gotten so many games from Humble Bundle. I think I looked at my Steam account one time, like, if I were to all pay for all the games retail, which I know there's Steam sales and stuff, but my Steam account is worth thousands of dollars, and I think I paid, like, 110 bucks or something, or 150 over the years. Of just humble bundles. I should probably check on Foxy. But yeah, it's just the price of the games on the consoles are so stinking expensive. I'm actually really happy I went and built the gaming PC instead of going uh, getting another console. But yeah, anyways, to answer your question, I do have a 360, but I just don't find myself playing it as much. Like I canceled my I canceled my gold membership a while back ago, so I don't I don't really play multiplayer anymore on it. But I did that back when we decided to start really aggressively paying off debt. Freddy may be in here. I think Freddy's in here. Well, that's sucky. Like what type of school do you go in? Go, sorry, go to yucks like high school or college or. Mm 
All right, if I can make it to 5 a.m. with 10% power, middle school. Okay, well, that's cool. Hey, tell you what, eighth grade in middle school, it's not the hardest grade, but I'm telling you right now, it only gets better from here. Personally, I freaking hated uh, middle school especially. That was by far the worst. Oh, come on, guys. Really? You're going to door camp me right now? Thank you. I don't know if I... I I'm close. If I can keep Foxy from charging my door, I think I will have a chance. Uh, I need to be better on my power management, though. Oh, guys, you're killing me. Come on, Bonnie. Get all with... Thank you. We're going to check Foxy. That was the last Foxy check I'm gonna do. I'm done. I have to. I have to just chill out here. We'll see if it's a good game. Uh, we'll see. If Foxy jumps out, I'm screwed. I might be screwed anyway. This is gonna be closer than last time. This is gonna be the closest. This is gonna be the furthest I've gotten on night six. I don't think I have enough time though. Even if I had the long chime, I don't think I have enough time to make it. So, we'll just have to see how it goes. Oh, that's a long chime. So, maybe if Freddy takes his time, if Freddy takes his time to get to me, we'll have to see. But yeah, that is the long chime. Close. That wasn't the closest I've ever got as far as far as the end of the night, but that was close. Anyways, this is it. Oh yeah, no, believe me, like you're eighth grade, trust me, it only gets better from here. I fucking hated middle school. That was close. I got close. Not quite close enough, but I got close. <sighs> Anyways, Yucks, you should absolutely, I mean, if you, if you can, I would totally give this game a try. It's, it's like five bucks through Steam, so it's super cheap. And it is really fun, especially if you like horror games. It is 100, and, it, and people say it's like, when, oh, and all that game is is jump scares. It is and is it isn't. Um, it's not just random stuff popping out at you. There's a lot of mechanics to know, and it's a lot of micromanagement, which if, if you're good at it, you'll really like it. But what's fun, what's fun about this game is it does an excellent job at setting up the atmosphere of what you're, you know, of, of the place. Because, like, when I'm streaming, it's not as bad, because I can talk to people. Fuck. You don't need a gaming computer to, to run uh, something like this. Something like this you can run on any computer, trust me. This is, like, a really low, low-key indie game. Check Foxy for free. But no, I, and when I say gaming computer too, like I, I always build, when I build my computers, I go for the, uh, I go just for whatever the most price efficient buy is. So I don't ever get the fastest stuff. I don't get the cheapest stuff, but for I always get the most for every dollar I spend. And I built this one. I, I, I upgraded from a laptop to a desktop, so I, I couldn't reuse anything. The only thing I, I was able to get is a monitor my wife gave me. And uh, 
It was eleven hundred dollars after everything was. No, I take that back. It was right at a thousand dollars after everything was said and done. And it can play. You know, you know, it can play everything out there. But you can you can build yourself a, a full blown gaming computer for six hundred bucks. That that can play all you know all the games out there today right now. Okay. join my stream. Uh, welcome. I hope you are entertained. And feel free to introduce yourself. I, I like interacting with uh, with everyone in chat. God dang it. I should have been checking Foxy more. Are you talking about like in school? Yeah, man, trust me. Middle school is the worst. Like, it does. It only gets better from here because, yeah, you kind of still have some of the people that are still in that shitty middle school mentality at freshman year of high school, but at least, at least they're getting out of it. Ooh, big hit on my power, and I can't open the door back up. Anyways, it, 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 it will get better, man, I promise. Because, like I said, you have some people that are still in that middle school bullshit, I'm a fucking retard and I'm just going to be a prick for the sake of being a prick attitude that they, that they have in middle school. But there's at least some people, I'd say at least half, are getting out of it. I go to a ghetto school. Eh. What school you go to, man, really doesn't matter. And what you, the only thing that really matters in, in school, I'll tell you, I'll tell you a secret. 27. I've been where you are. The only thing, so I'm telling you, the only goddamn thing that matters in school right now is your grades. Like, that is the only lasting thing that's going to matter at all. Like, all the friends that you have now, you're not going to have any of those friends anymore. Uh, you're, you know, any clubs or shit that you go into, they might help you get into college. But the biggest thing for college, if you want to get into college, is your grades. Like, that is it. You focus on those. Well, I, you know, I don't know why. You hate your teacher. They could just be genuinely a bad teacher. I've had plenty of those myself. What, what class is it that you hate? Sorry, man. <laughs> hey, Skiller. Math. Uh, math is a hard one. However, the good thing with math, though, is 
language art language arts for me language arts was easier than math and I'll tell you why with language arts you have a lot of wiggle room you know involved like yeah they can grade a paper for oh god damn it ducky all right that was the last time I'm gonna check Foxy I'm gonna check Foxy at one percent I'm gonna concentrate I'm just gonna get away play dead for whatever's remaining um language arts fucking American history bullshit with language arts it's harder I mean with math it's harder because a wrong answer is a wrong answer they don't give you any extra points or partial points you're just fucked um and I'm no Asian ah uh, it just depends on what you want to do man just keep that GPA high that's the best thing you can do is keep that G and if your teacher doesn't like you, fuck your teacher. And you know what? I actually had a teacher that went from hating me to being able to stand me. Because I just kinda laid it all out. It was a it was oh, let me think. It was what class did he teach? His name is Mr. Pioli and I think he taught like Lang no, it, was, it must have been social studies. Don't fuck your teacher. <laughs> uh, and, you know, I, I just went up to him and I said, Look, I know you don't like me. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I, I never had the pleasure of fucking my teacher. So, I, I don't know. But most of my teachers are guys anyway, so that didn't really... Uh, it wasn't really an issue for me. But uh, I kind of, with that Mr. Pioli, I just kind of laid it out and I told him straight up, like, look, I know you don't like me. I don't care for you either, but we're kind of stuck here for the year. You know, can we just agree to disagree on some stuff and I'll just sit in the back of the class and be quiet. And after that, he changed. Because it went from, like, I could tell he was judging my papers. Just shitty. You know, just being an asshole type of teacher. And all of a sudden, all the little side comments and shit just all stopped. And we kind of had this agreement to leave each other the fuck alone. I got through the year, I left his class, and that was that. But yeah, man, trust me, middle school is the worst. It gets a lot better after middle school. And like here in middle school now, it, the best thing you can do for yourself is... Yeah, I know it honks. There you go. At night, oh, that was dumb. I screwed up. Freddy may be in here with me. Come on, Bonnie. Move your ass. Thank you. Fuck, take forever. Uh. I, I know, I, I know pretty much, shit. Oh, guys, we're going to be seeing Freddy maybe making an early appearance tonight. I'll have to see how close he was. You know, honestly, the best, the best, damn it, I'm screwing up so much tonight. At least Foxy didn't take too big of a hit. Uh, the best thing you can do if your teacher is just being a prick, honestly, what worked for me really well, <laughs> we're all so men, but on a much smaller scale. <laughs> Damn it! I keep leaving the door open. Hell ah! See, that's what I told you. Freddy's the only one that really gets me anymore, and that shit's why. Like, he came in a while ago. He's been there. He's just like that damn creeper at the library that everybody knows is looking at porn, but nobody says anything about him. <sighs> Hey, Smitty. 
how are you doing today? Getting my ass raped by Freddy here, because he enjoys it. I guess I'm Freddy's favorite. Awesome, yeah, yeah, real awesome. You know, you guys should have seen me when I was playing this at first. I, I, I damn near pissed myself on many occasions. Bullshit, Foxy! Oh, you're such a cunt. That is so no fair. Ah, uh, the bite of 87. Are you talking about Golden Freddy? Yeah, I know about Golden Freddy. I haven't seen Golden Freddy, really, because I'm just trying to get through all the knights currently. Like, I want to get through the knight 6, and then I want to customize... Actually, I want to do knight 7 on the easiest knight. You know, everything on 1. No. Okay, I, I don't know. I don't know. What, what is the uh, 87 egg? Because I don't think I've seen it yet. Oh, when you get to 7. Are you talking about the ending? You know, I... I damn it! Damn it! Bonnie level one. Okay, I'll you know Chica nine. Oh one nine eight seven. Mm -hmm. You know I will. I I I'll tell you what, guys. If I God damn it, you fucks. I don't check my camera for free. Get the hell. Quit door camping. I will try that for sure. In fact, tell you what, first time I, if I do ever beat Light Night 6, I've been getting my ass raped by these guys. They've just been sodomizing me. Oh, shut off. Oh, man, I'm at... Ten bucks worth of ID talk. Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I, I'm not. I'm not gonna let that in, man. Um, anything. Fuck. What does that mean when Freddy goes? It's me, Mario. Are you talking about the hallucination? Like when it, when Freddy, damn it! Freddy may be in here, guys. He was pretty close. Bonnie's in here. I'm just gonna commit suicide real fast. Ugh. Yeah, Skiller, please, please don't. Don't post any links like that in here. Um, yeah, that that's... I wouldn't recommend using that to check for link use. Uh, I don't mind permitting links. But, you know, I, I don't... Stuff like that, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna let in. And I have to actually, right now, I have to stop the stream and uh, permit links and then go back in the stream, so it's not really worth it. I don't even have any mods yet. I, I just don't. Um, you know, I'm not really big enough, I think, to really require mods. But yeah, it, I, I wouldn't really recommend doing that check for link use. I think that's a really, really good way to uh, get yourself banned from a stream.
Smitty with a sword would be a grave mistake. Hey, Slender Man, how are you doing tonight? Or this afternoon, I guess. I am just been getting raped by Freddy repeatedly. So, I hope you enjoy the show. His cheek is gone. I just don't get that with the damn music box. Why the music box? What do you mean checking the lights one time? Took one percent. So that was my first. If I can get that to be my only. Damn it! Oh, I hate that. Well, Freddy may be in here, guys. We'll have to see. He's either somewhere else in the pizzeria or he's currently lubing up and getting ready for insertion right now. Damn it, Ducky. Well, actually, you know, I don't mind you, Ducky. Anyways, unpopular, what do you mean, uh, just checking the lights one time? I mean, I know I've been a little heavy with uh, my power. However, thing is, is when I when I try to do when I try to conserve power. If you check one time the lights, then put the camera, put down the camera quick, check the lights one time, and repeat. Like that, is that what you're talking about? Oh, turn off, come on, thank you. I think I'm about to get another foxy run here. Oh! start doing that here. Um, thing is, Freddy might already be in here with us. We'll have to see. I skipped my door. I just, well, my problem with that is, is that Bonnie usually gets me when I do that. Because I have too big of a gap in between the time I check that light. Uh, it just leaves some pretty big gaps in my checking. I, oh, it sucks. Freddy, I think, was pretty close. Oh, we got Bonnie. We got Foxy. She's on the move. 44%, 38. That's 6% loss. That's better than usual, but I'm at 36% at 3 a.m. See? Bonnie. I, that's what happens when I try to do that. Is Bonnie gets me almost every time. So, it's 3 a.m. I'm just going to commit suicide because there's no time I won't get a foxy run in this amount of time. If it was on the other door, I would just try to close or just try and keep up, you know, keep my screen up and shut the left door. But because it's Bonnie, uh, I'm screwed. So, I'm just going to commit suicide. Guys, you got headphones on. Go ahead and take them off. All right. We'll give this another shot. Well, yeah, when, the, when your buttons break, it's because the character, either Bonnie or Chica, is already in the room with you. So if you can't close them, you know, you're you're dead the second you put your camera, take your camera, put it in your face, and then when you put it down, you're dead because there's already a 
thing in the room. So that's what happens there when your buttons are dead. So I, if you see me, I hit a button, it doesn't do anything. Sometimes if it's, a, if it's Chica that got me, I've actually gotten lucky before where I checked Foxy, it was like 5 a.m. already, or five, I think I did it one time and it was 4 a.m. Um, I had already checked Foxy, oh, you are a cunt, Foxy. Truly, a cunt. Anyways, one time I got lucky, Chica caught me, I closed my left door and I had enough power to last just until like the end of 5 a.m. And it, it, you know, I, t I ran out the clock. Really? We're gonna. Oh shit, we're gonna start this now. 93. 1%. Oh shit, okay. 1% loss. Also, Freddy may be here shortly because I've been leaving that whole. T well, maybe not. I left that door open this whole time. Anyways, unpopular, that's why I, uh. That's why I check my lights multiple times, is because if I don't, we're at night six, you just don't have the time. You don't have the time you need. Oh. I don't know. I think you could commit suicide here, guys, just because it's 12 a.m. There's absolutely no, no reason to keep this. So, take your headphones off. Chica's going to get us. I can go steal seven hundred dollars, three hundred bucks. Here we go. If you want to listen, you can hear. Hear that? And here's Chica. <laughs> oh. I don't know why somebody would stay at this job. I don't know. Tell you what, guys, if I make it tonight and I get to night seven, I will try the 1987 Easter egg. Which is kind of funny because that's when my birth, that's uh, the year I was born, so that's kind of cool. Wasted some power there. Honk the nose. Freddy's out. That was quick. No, I'll do that. Actually, what I'm going to do is... Uh, well, one of the other guys... I have, I, I have heard about that reference before. I never knew what it was. I just... Didn't really care to look at it. According to one of the other guys in chat, if you set when are right, at night seven, you can customize the levels of each character, how hard they are. So if you set the character as one and then nine and then eight and seven on on how difficult they are, apparently there's an Easter egg. And I don't know where it is, but I told him I, I you know I told everyone in stream that if I get this cleared today, I'll do a night on the easiest difficulty, just so everyone can see what that is, and then see the second ending. And then I will do a night of the 1987. And if I beat that or find the Easter egg, then I'll try for 2020 20. I don't think I'll ever get 2020 20 just because I'm not very good at video games. Uh, there's a lot of people that are far better than me. And like, there's one guy, I forgot his name. He's really, really, really annoying to me personally. I don't, I don't know, he just says a lot of stuff that's just kind of dumb. Okay, no, I, I'll, no, I'll definitely give it a shot, Skiller. I ain't no problem whatsoever, I'll totally try it. Anyways, uh, it took him, and that guy was like professional streamer. That's all he does, is stream and make YouTube videos. And it took him seven hours straight. Yeah, Bonnie got me. Oh! 
Alright, Skiller, I will. I'm gonna commit suicide and let Bonnie get me just so I can start the night over. So. That actually got me a little bit. Mar yes, Markiplier. That's who it is. He He's entertaining to watch. Uh, it's just. He says some stuff in like this weird dramatic radio voice, and that just that voice kind of get, gets to me. And, you know. I can say, I, you know, I chat and I like annoying play famous. Yeah, I, I don't know. I it, It's like, I don't know, it's, it's hard to explain. Like, instead of just checking lights, like, oh, is there something over here? No. Is there something over here? No. Is there something over here? No. But he'll do stuff like that. I just think that's kind of irritating, personally. Oh, annoying but famous. Yeah, I know. I have nothing against the guy at all. And and if the, if that's how he gets views, that's how he makes his living, I mean, that's his bread and butter. You know, more power to him. I think that's awesome that he's able to do something that he has enough, uh, enough viewers following him that, you know, that's what he does that for a living. And that's, that's awesome. I don't down anyone at all. You foxy fucking cunt. God, I hate you, Foxy. Anyways, I don't want to get—I don't want to get anyone down on. You know, he's obviously doing a really good job. He can support him. Oh, see, Bonnie, already, already with Bonnie. All right, we're gonna kill ourselves. Here we go. Damn it. All right, all right. I gotta focus on. I'm gonna try and focus on this one. So I'm gonna try and just focus and not, not talk too much. Because that's what's been happening. I've been talking and getting distracted. Because you guys are a fun to talk to. But I'm going to try and concentrate. We'll see if we can't get through Night 6. So I really would like to show you guys the ending of Night 7. I don't know if I'll be able to do it with my current performance. But I will give it a shot. We'll see if we can do this. Currently I've been sucking ass. So I'm going to try to concentrate on the game. Not talk so much. So let's give this a shot. Good. I'm also going to try not shutting the right door until either Freddy's laugh gets louder or 1 a.m just to see if we can conserve that little bit of power. I, we'll try it. Foxy, you fucking cunt! That's bullshit. We've been checking her constantly. There's no way she had enough time to go to second stage already. Okay, his laugh just got louder, so... I left it closed for as long as I could. see that? I got so stupid lucky. That was just stupid lucky. Awesome. Check Foxy for free. Please. 
please quit door camping. Oh, yeah, now I can't check Foxy. That's what I hate about Bonnie, is like, with Chica, it's like, awesome, I get to check my camera for free without wasting, you know, any power. But with Bonnie, it's like, now I'm wasting twice as much power. It's 2 a.m. I have 60% light left. I swear to God, it's like Bonnie's on a timer. If you don't spam that light, she is just right there. You know, what is so fucking amusing to Freddy? It's like, I'm moving through another room. Ha, ha, ha. I'm not supposed to be able to do this. Ha, ha, ha. Wow, that was close. Oh, that was even closer. I don't fucking get it, Freddy. What is so amusing?
there's like a button you would press rather than just mousing your mouse over that bottom of the screen because it would, it would really help remedy the uh, the accidentally spamming the, the camera this last playthrough I think I I think I would have had it had I not screwed up those bunch of times there's like three scripts bam 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 all in a row Freddy's close. I think Freddy's close enough to slip into the room if I slip. If I slip up now, uh, it's like there's three levels of of how loud he is. Honestly, and uh, the loudest, like you know, if you screw up, he's like right there. I think I'm. I think I'm getting it, guys. We'll have to see. I think he's in the room. Hey Yucks, welcome back. Um, I'm gonna try to look at chat a little bit less. Or, you know, talk to you guys just a little bit less. I know it's not as entertaining, but I really want to beat Night 6. Fifty percent. Damn, I should be at three a.m. by now. Find out how close I am. Luckily, thus far, Foxy's stayed behind the curtain at stage one. So if Foxy stays at stage one for any period. And, you know, for the, if I can get Foxy to stay at stage one for the rest of the night, I think I have a chance. Or just just to not charge my door. That's the that's the thing. It's just again to not charge my door. If she does charge and take one percent, that'll work. But Uh, welcome, 
eighth cat back. She's really fun to talk to. Saw me stream yesterday. Unfortunately, eight cat, I'm on night six now. I haven't been able to, to do it. Foxy's gonna come out here and rape me any moment. But uh, yeah, welcome. You know, oh, I should just pop that open. Give me a little bit more time at least. Yeah, there's Foxy. Damn, I was so close. So close. Bonnie got me. Well, Foxy did end up getting me, but Bonnie had broken my door. Uh, so close. Anyways, so, hey, Cat, uh, as far as what's been going on, we're trying to finish Night 6. Um, as soon as we get Night 6 finished, somebody told me there's a Easter egg. Because Night 7 is a customizable night. So what I'm going to do is finish out Night 6. I'm going to finish Night 7 on the easiest setting, just so you guys can see the, uh, the second ending. And then I'm going to try the Easter Egg Night, which is the 1987 uh, Easter Egg. And uh, then we're going to try 2020. I don't think I'll get to 2020. I will try and get, you know, get to the point where we see that 1987 uh, thing. I will be ending the stream. I started the stream a little bit earlier today because I actually have work tomorrow. I work for the next five days. But I will do my very best to stream at least a little bit after, you know, after work each day. Oh, it's night three. Hold on, guys. Let me, uh... I want to end the stream. Let's see. Um... Tell you what, I'll wait. I, I hit continue instead of night six. So this is actually night three, which is the night that me and my wife left off of. So we're going to just wait. Hopefully Foxy will come and get us shortly. Um, I don't know where anyone is. You know what? Well, I'm looking. Maybe I can find... Hey, maybe Bonnie's already in here. No, just just ducky right there. Um, where is it? There's newspaper clippings on one of these walls. I'm trying to find them. Let's see if I can't find them for you guys. No, that's not them. There's the rules. Leave before dark. I love rule number eight. Ooh, I think Ducky's in here. Alright, we're gonna take the camera down. Probably gonna get a jump scare. No, damn it. Alright, um. I'm sorry, A Cat. I don't know. I don't know how I could help you. What is your download speed? Yeah, hello, Ducky. Maybe we'll have someone in here. No. And I left this doors open this whole time. You know, I'm just gonna try and run run us out of power. I think that'll do it faster. Anyways, I if I exit if I try to just exit out, I'll end the stream. And I left off with my wife on night three. So I hit continue instead of night six. So this is just kind of a waste here, but we're going to try and get rid of it. But while I'm doing this, oh, come on, guys, hurry up. Thank you. I think on this wall, Cam 2A, I'm not positive, is where those newspaper clippings show up that show you the plot, the subplot. Um, also, another Easter egg, that poster right there changes around. Like, it'll move around. Um, 
It'll be that there. That's the regular Freddy. It's night three, so um, there's a thing called Golden Freddy where he the poster turns like the outside's a little green. He said, and what is your? And then you skipped. <laughs> Sorry, a cat. I oh, I I asked what your uh, your internet connect, connection speed is. I wish it would show them moving around, to be honest. I think that'd be more awesome. But yeah, I asked what your internet connection uh, speed was. You know, I am amazed at how long this power is lasting. With everything closed. Maybe, uh... Maybe Night 6 has a more... More of a power drain. <sighs> Trying to find those newspaper clippings for you guys. Because it is kind of cool, the subplot. Anyways, well that's that's the Easter eggs I know of is the newspaper clippings that change, and then that poster changes, and if it put if it changes to a uh, like a, a golden colored Freddy costume, and you put your camera down, golden Freddy will be right there, and there'll be a suit right next to him on the left. And, oh, there we go. Now we'll get it. All right, good. We'll get through this uh, crap right here. Freddy will jump out and rape us, and then we'll go back to night six. Ugh. <sighs> have only only have a small list of available setups only one for internet that really does suck uh well i do know like i don't know what if it's like your apartment has a deal with whoever provides the internet but dsl uh has a still like everybody complains that dsl is slower which it is not it, it's well it is a slower connection because it doesn't have quote unquote burst speeds what it does has it has a stable connection. So most apartments have phone lines going through there. You you should be able to if you have a phone line going into your house or your apartment, you should be able to. Oh bullshit, Foxy! Uh, if you have a phone line going into your house, you should be able to get DSL, and it's a much more stable connection. And no, it is not as fast as cable at three in the morning. But from what I've seen, it is I have a 30 meg down, 5 up connection. It's far faster than my neighbor's cable at like 5 to 7 p.m. when everyone's on the internet. Because I've seen that cable go down to like 5 megs before download. was fast. It's not even 1 a.m. Yeah, we already got somebody in our door. I'm also, uh, thank you for leaving the fucking door. I'm also a little tired today. I got up earlier than usual. No, I just have the one. I just have the one monitor. I've been looking into a, a trying to get a dual monitor set up, but the thing is, is the only monitors that seem to be available for cheap are, like, really, really crappy LCD screens, which I don't need an LED screen. I, I don't know. I have a, at the time I bought, I bought like, I think 
think four or five years ago, and I bought it used then. But it was originally a six hundred dollar LED monitor, and you know, really, really high performance for its time. Which today it's it's okay. Um, but no, I I don't have dual. Oh, you fine fuck, foxy fuck. Sorry. Um, no, I just have the one. There's there's a lot of other people on Twitch that are much much better set up than I am. That uh, Skigua guy, I I ref referenced you guys a lot too last night. I don't know if you popped in there or not, but he has a really he's like got a green screen. Uh, he's got a capture card, multiple monitors. He's really got quite the setup. Only thing I really have going for me is I just built my computer, and so it's it's really fast for what it is. Oh, see, that's bullcrap. We all just saw her reset, and she reset to stage two. Yeah, I, I could get, uh, I could like go down to Goodwill and get just some crappy uh, L LCD, you know, that just, who knows where it came from, but it'll work. I could do that, but the problem is, is I, it's sometime in the future, I'd like to have three decent monitors. You know, at least a couple LEDs and, and the one I'm working on now. Problem is with those Goodwill monitors is the fact that once I get them, I... I can't get rid of them, you know, after I uh, pick them up. And so it'll just be essentially, you know, 40 to $80 right down the drain. I did, I did find, and it's 2 a.m., I'm already at 46%, I'm so screwed. Um, I think Foxy took a good chunk of my power. Anyways, I did find a guy that had some LED or LCD monitors, uh, forty bucks a pop, and they had a five millisecond response rate. But he didn't have any other information about them, like the uh, hertz or any other anything else. So there's that, and I just didn't do it also because my wife she has a hard time seeing. I have a home theater computer also that I cannibalized my old my wife's old uh fuck you Bonnie I cannibalized my wife's old hey Smitty I cannibalized my wife's old desktop and turned it into a home theater for computer I just added uh, like 12 terabytes of storage space and then she already had everything else I think I put a, a case that looked nice in the living room but we were using our old TV and it was just a goofy aspect ratio. So she would have to zoom in to see anything. And we got these new couches a little while ago. Not new, used. But they're really nice. Much, much nicer than my old one. And, uh... One second here. I'm trying to get this last long as I can. Uh... Our old couch is like this old 19, late 80s, hide a bed. And it worked good when we had guests over, but now we don't have guests. We got these nice, they're just couches. They got recliners in them. One second. Oh, Foxy, you fuck. You know, Asus makes really good stuff. Okay, I have to play this. Perfect. So hold on, guys. Let me... Oh, bullshit. Foxy's already running toward me. Oh, I would have had it had Foxy not come and gotten me. I think I would have had that one. Um... Anyways, Asus makes really good stuff. I like Asus. I like Samsung. I'm currently working on an NEC. Uh, it's like I said. Somebody, what happened with that is I bought it. There we go. 
I bought it from a friend of mine who was doing uh, video graphics editing in college. And he was getting ready to move. He had just finished college. He was going to move to this uh, apartment, he, studio apartment he got. And he had already bought this great big TV for his laptop. Like, that's what he's going to use as his computer screen. So I had 180 bucks. I was like, look, man, I have 180 bucks. I give this to Walmart or I give it to you. It's whatever you want, you know. And so he took it, and I got the $600 computer monitor at the time. You know, it's a real, it still is a nice monitor. No, trying to get some goddamn people in the start. So, oh, yeah, I'm not, honestly, Smitty, it's just, although I, I got, like, crazy amount of follows yesterday. Um, thank you, A-Cat and everyone else. I'm not really worried about follows. I just, I'm going to play games I like to play. And the people that come and type and talk to, those are the, really the people I want to hang out with. You know, I, the people that come and just watch. Eh, I, I'm not real big into that. I like, the part of Twitch that I really like is uh, interacting with everybody. I think that's the that's the only real fun part of Twitch to me. I can watch, you know, people come play computer games and that's it on YouTube anytime I want. Oh, we already got Bonnie. Yeah, yeah, that's not a problem, A-Cat. Uh, let me get... Well, here, let me just kill myself here. Um, yeah, I'll add you on... You go ahead and add me on Skype. I'll private message you that when I get done with the stream tonight. And uh, that way you'll have a better... You'll at least be able to hear what I'm saying. But when it, to, uh, Freddy's is kind of a pain in the ass. I can't put Freddy's on windowed mode. So with my way my game caster works is whenever I exit out of a game, it stops the cast. I can't. So, so I don't want to, you know, everyone to leave so I can go and get Skype configured and all that. I actually really need to have a, a moderator if, if I get any amount of people that get on at all. But... Later on, that, that's that's for later. I'm not gonna worry about it. <sighs> oh, damn it! See, I wasn't watching Foxy, and now she's ready to sprint my door. He will have to be punished. Are you ready for punishment? God damn, it looks like I'm getting ready to get gang banged here in a second. Chia. Boy, that was just not even when I am and everybody shows up to party. <laughs> yeah, you know, watch me get raped by puppets. Puppet rape. It's perfect for the internet. Gosh, I was really hoping to finish night six today. Anyways, uh, sorry, I, I had to start streaming a little earlier tonight, or today. I know there's a lot of people that, that couldn't get off work, you know, in time. But uh, the reason is, okay, let's get this over with. I honestly don't know how much power that Foxy took. Or where stud the party follows Urn Crown? Okay. Fuck. Damn, I haven't checked Foxy in a while, but she's ready. Okay, she's only in stage two, thank God. Damn it, Freddy. Everybody is just like right here tonight. You don't use I, I don't think I do because uh, I don't even know what BTTV is, so 
I use Gamecaster to stream. Like, my whole setup is just uh, Gamecaster, a $10 Fred Meyers microphone. I did buy an okay camera. I think I paid 40 bucks for it on Amazon. Fuck! You kill fish for a living? That's kind of awesome. Okay, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll try, uh, Better Twitch TV, Smitty, as soon as I get done, um, being molested by everybody here. You know, fishing really is. Although, you know, I have my own, like, I have one fishing story. Here, here's how I, I'm exceptionally lazy I don't hunt I don't you know I don't fish because both of those involve getting up early in the morning and, and getting dressed and then going outside and walking around in the cold or the hot and those are all things I generally don't like doing but there's one way I fish back when I lived in Missouri fuck Back when I... Pity you don't live ten minutes earlier, Kippo, or something. We test water truck to see how many fish down over X amount of days. Simplified version. That's kind of cool. Um, actually, my paper mill, there's a, a lock that's right next to... Oh, Foxy, don't. Don't do this. I don't have the power for you tonight already taken too much. Yeah, I know. Well, no, it's not like just like I'm going to get dressed. Like you have to wear like all this hunting gear and crap and then half the people cover themselves in deer piss, which I exceptionally don't like. And like you have to do it really early in the morning. That was the most unmetal description of a fucking job I ever heard. <laughs> like you have to get up early in the morning and then you have to go out and climb a fucking tree. It's just it's like why you know I could I, I'll just go to the store and do my hunting there and I'll, I'll come back with whatever I want every time and here's Foxy to drain all my damn power 27 to 21 six percent I'm at 20 percent at 3 a.m. I'm not making it guys <laughs> thank you Brown Zerg No, no, I do. I, I work at a paper mill, but luckily, um, wait for some stupid deer, but it's all worth it. Uh, luckily, my paper mill, we don't ferment our own pulp, and, you know, when people complain about how paper mills smell, that's, that's the reason paper mills smell like shit, and that's probably the reason, like, they have to do something with those chemicals, and I'm sure a lot of them end up in the water. But luckily we buy our pulp from outside. A lot of it from Canada. And so we have this, we do have a lot of uh, water filtering facility. Our water actually goes in cleaner and in, back into the river than we pull it out. Okay, Foxy's been good. I'm just going to I'm just going to play dead. I know I got 5% left. I'm going to hope Foxy treats me good because at this point I'm kind of screwed if I don't. You know, there's nothing much I can do. I'm, I'm out of power. It's 5 a.m. I have 4%. I don't think I'm beating this one, guys. Even if Foxy takes mercy. Um, anyway, so I work at a paper mill. We don't ferment our own pulp. And so, but we have a lock that's right next to us. So we have kind of a special EPA thing going on. And uh, the filtration system on everything is just immense. Like, we have to lower the temperature of the water and everything before it goes into the river. It's, it's quite the deal. Anyway, Zerg, if you're still here, uh, 
thanks for coming on over. I'm probably going to be ending here in a little bit. I'm going to try and get and finish night six, night six, which is what I'm on, and then do a couple more things, and I'll probably head on over and watch you for a little bit. Okay, I'm getting the long chime. That's good. that has chemicals that act like estrogen or something like that, which is bad for men, especially me, since I'm flamboyant enough as it is. Well, I think like, most of the chemicals that, uh, that paper mills have come from the process of fermenting the wood fibers into pulp. There's a lot of acids and things they use. You know, I, I, real, I can't pull off a scarf because it hides my beard and then I just look fatter than I am, which is pretty impressive considering I'm pretty damn fat. Oh, guys, I need my cameras. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. Anyway, so back to my one fishing story that I have. Uh, here's what you do. If you live in Missouri or anywhere that has a nice, slow-running river, if you can call them that, they're barely rivers. Uh, you go and you get yourself a rental canoe. Now, a rental canoe is... Oh, damn it, really? The rental canoe is very important, and here's why. You get your rental canoe, and then you get a cooler you call the bobber. The bobber doesn't have to sit in the canoe. It just floats in the water behind you, and it stays cool because there's water there. So you just put barely any ice in it and then fill it with beer. Now, you take your rental they get the shortest rental they have and then go around two bends and then tie the tie the canoe off now you start drinking occasionally you'll have to handle a fish usually not because that just pull just six out there but you start drinking and now usually before the time you pass out it'll get dark sometimes you will pass out by dark and those people you rented the canoe from they will come and they will look for their canoe and it's perfect. It's like they drive you back to your car. You know, you got to spend all day on the water. And it's awesome. <laughs> and you can spend the night. You know, you can either spend your night in the car. Or they had cabins there. They put me up in that. That worked awesome while a couple times. But, yeah, that, that's, that's, that's how I go fishing. That is Seth fishing for you. favorite ducky so I can check Foxy for free when you're there no I'm using way too much power guys There we go. Oh, well, actually, you know what? I need, I needed you there, Ducky. You, you're the man, Ducky. So that means I can check Foxy for furry. Foxy's gonna charge my door at least one time tonight. I know it. Which kind of sucks. I really need the power. Boy, night six is a bitch. Oh shit! Oh, oh, fuck! 
Fuck you both. Quit camping my doors. Ducky is my favorite. <laughs> Ducky is my favorite because I can check Foxy for free when Ducky's there. Because I already have to keep the door closed. Ah, oh, fuck me. Oh shit, shit, I need to check Foxy before he reset. Damn it! Oh, that sucks. Oh well, not much I can do about it now. Yeah, I know, Foxy wants to see me oh so much. <laughs> so... Uh, hello, One Piece Otaku. Uh, it's nice to... I hope you're enjoying the, the stream. I hope I entertain you. I don't get scared as much as I used to, but... I still hope you have a good time with us anyways. And welcome. Already ready to sprint again? Foxy's AI is way too hard on this one. Oh my god, that's insanity. I'm dead, guys. That's 17% at 3 a.m. I've gotten three Foxy sprints before the night is half over. Yeah, I'm not doing it tonight. Not this night. We'll just see how Laney... Well, no, it doesn't even matter. 10%? I can't do it with no power drain. There's no way. No way I can do this. Who's commit suicide? One of them should be in here by now. Yeah, uh, Bonnie's going to be here, guys. So if you got headphones, um, take them off. Here we go. Coming soon, Shobo cry, Shobo cry, Shobo cry. Uh. Now, I don't mind Ducky too much because I can check Foxy for free because the door has to be closed anyway. So I kind of feel like two in one right there. But when Bonnie's there, I have to keep that door closed. And I, so I have to either choose between massive power drain or you know, not checking Foxy for a while. And Foxy was awesome at, see, starting out at one, how long do we leave leave Foxy alone for? Like five seconds? That is some bullshit. You know, I hope Foxy sprints our door like right away. He was already starting out to get us anyways. Uh, we're going to commit suicide here, guys. And just get this over with. And we'll start again right away. <sighs> Why is night six... You know, I can't imagine how bad 2020, 2020 would be. Because this is night six. It's not even like... It gets harder than this at 2020, 2020. I don't even know what's even worth attempting. 
20, 20, 20, 20. I could took a Mark Piler or something like that. No, 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 no. This is just Night 6 uh, A-Cat. I can't customize it yet. This is just like the hardest non-custom night it gets. This is the hardest setting on the game without customizing it yourself. Um, and when I say 20, 20, 20, 20, that's like the hardest the game gets. And it took Mark Plyler... Um, God, I don't know what... Took him... What? It took him seven hours, and he's actually a decent gamer. I suck. I'm not very good at video games. Like, there are so many people out there that are better than I am. I'm okay. But yeah, this is night six. It's, uh, the non it's, non it's the hardest non-customizable night. I was hoping, hoping, to get through night six, and then mm -hmm. I would, I would set up night seven as the customizable night. You, if you get through night six, uh, you can do the customizable night. I'd set the customizable night as like the easiest it can get, where they pretty much none of them move or do anything, mm -hmm. and then I could show you guys the second ending, and then I would do the 1987. Um, Easter egg that I've heard about. People say it's it's something something happens. I haven't seen it yet, so we'll find out. Um, but if I can't get past this nut, I can't show you guys that, which sucks because I'd really like to. Oh, he's going fast. But yeah, I'll change. I'll I'll, I'll uh. I was going to do. If I can beat night six, if I can just beat night six for you guys, I'll show you guys the second ending, and then we'll get a quick start on 1987. I don't know if you have to beat it to see the Easter egg or not. If we don't, we don't, but... I need to check Foxy. Oh, here comes Foxy. Anyone see how much uh, power that took out? I honestly, I didn't check it. Ah! Fuck you, Freddy. Ah! Damn it. Ah, well. I was, it, at least it was early. At least it was early in the night. I don't mind it when it's early, but when I get to like 4 a.m. and then they get me, that sucks. It's like, I was doing good, and they destroy me. Oh. I don't know how many more tries I got in me, guys. I, I'm going to keep I'm gonna keep going, but I might end the, the stream here pretty soon. Fairly, fairly shortly. I'm just not getting it tonight. And my Starbucks is out. Good. At least 